Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Scorpio. Um, okay, so it looks like someone has um, found their independence. Um, from maybe a marriage or some really strong long lasting connection that they were in in this marriage in this connection somebody was either deceiving the other and somebody was willingly being deceived like you knew what was going on but you just allowed it maybe it served you at that point um, you didn't know better you didn't see better whatever but the Seven of Cups talks about being willingly deceived or unwillingly or unknowing, unknowingly deceived. There might be someone that comes back around, Scorpio woman, who wants to sell you a dream. It's snake oil. It's promises. And they have no intentions of fulfilling any of those promises. Or vice versa, if you're dealing with a Scorpio man, this is what he's trying to do. I don't know. Get in where you fit in. There's someone, there's a man trying to deceive by way of emotions and words and just building castles in the sky, just doing a song and dance for the, for the woman here in this reading um, in order to get her to choose him or to choose to stay. But with the Seven of Cups, it says that this person is not serious about commitment. They overdo everything. They're over the top. They overindulge. They overspin. They over whatever. They oversleep. Over, over. They just overdo everything. They have no discipline. They don't, they have no chill. They know how, they don't know how to just be. Be content. Be happy with. They're always on some quest or some journey with the soldier card to do God knows what. They're on some mission. They're always on some mission. They're... The soldier card speaks of unrest. It talks about the, like the love them and leave them, the playboy type. He's willing to do battle, verbal battle over his position too. He's not going to just allow you to call him a whore and say that he's promiscuous and he's playing games with women. No, he'll try to intellectualize his actions, his way of thinking. This man wants the power in this connection. So he wants to put what he deems as work into this connection over a certain amount of time so that, he, or he feels like he has the power because he's been with you for a certain amount of time. He's been putting effort or giving money to you for a certain amount of time. So he feels like he should have the power, the upper hand in this connection or he still gives you money so he feels like he should have the power and he feels like money is enough some men do and then they're wired differently the women so it's just about understanding the sexes female and male and understand how we communicate with one another This man wants to get some woman back on the team. And it will be a team because he is dating other people. And or the woman could be saying, I'm dating other people. Or I at least want to. Expect a package or a letter or a text message to come to you. 
and it will be proving or approval that this this person is trying to sway you in some deceptive manner so you have the letter here if you're waiting for a document or approval from an application there's a yes answer good news is on the way it doesn't look like you're going to take him back because you have faithfulness at the bottom of the deck and this talks about using your intuition being loyal it talks about a test or being tested uh, once again good news and, and moving on and because you have good intentions in life and all things you're going to get what it is you want this man definitely has secrets and needs to do some shadow work he lies to himself to everybody else he believes the lies that he says because he's been living a lie so long you and this person may be very different. You look at the world differently. You wanted the same thing at one time, at one, but there's no reconciling your differences. You can't get over it. Therefore, it is over. This person is so delusional that maybe even in these seven cups they'll say I love you but all in all they don't even know what love is the cards are asking you to meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces Pisces is the last zodiac sign so this talks about a last ditch effort a last chance a last something the last dance Meditate and contemplate before you make any decision in terms of this person, in terms of whatever they're off offering. Face your fears also. Avoid being deceptive or deceived. This card talks about whatever you're feeling right now, it's the truth especially with the moon card and it could be revealed to you you also have nothing will come of this situation void of course moon nothing is this person hasn't changed they aren't changing they're saying that I would choose you so they're definitely choosing everything else and everyone else over you and no change, nothing, no, no thing, nothing, no thing will come out of this situation. Is what the cards want you to know. And this, this might be a test, the last test from the universe, from this person, to see if you're going to stay faithful to the wishes and the dreams that you have for yourself. Or will you give in? seven of cups again to this person and their their empty promises this is your reading Scorpio I hope that it resonates for you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below is this person going to come back or will they message me what should I say should I take this person back get advice from the cards if you have if you have questions of that nature you can text it to the number below pay for your question receive the answer to your question on your mobile device or you can go to the website and book a full reading with me uh you can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so all links are below thank you scorpio many blessings to you take care